we will be talking about the best 3D software for texture painting. So if you want to create 3D assets and environments that look great, you must at least use one of these software. The first one on the list is the popular Substance Painter, developed by Algorithmic and recently bought by Adobe. Substance Painter is widely used by game developers, VFX studios, and 3D artists in general. In fact, it is the industry standard for 3D texturing right now. From what I have seen, Substance is a powerful 3D painting software because it allows 3D artists to paint with great accuracy, infinite customizability, and extreme attention to detail. So a lot of 3D artists coming from Maya, Max, Cinema 4D, and so on feel the need to use a dedicated texturing software. If you are one of them, you might be intimidated by the UI first, but you can think of it as Photoshop, but it interacts with 3D models. And if I can take a wild guess here, I would say that most of you guys are familiar with Photoshop. So it's not gonna be a big of a deal learning it, and its learning curve is gonna be great. So Substance is designed to simplify the process of texturing 3D models by allowing you to paint directly onto the surface of the mesh or straight on top of the UVs in a highly responsive and intuitive manner. As I said, its painting tools are highly customizable, allowing you to achieve the exact look that you want. And it has several incredibly useful features, such as a real-time PBR material workflow, many material presets and smart materials, and also an amazing procedural smart material system that you can adjust to any object to show realistic surface details or wear and tear in addition to other stuff. One of the most important features of Substance Painter is its robust baking tools that has up to 8K resolution maps baking and by baking maps, you feed the software geometry data about the ambient occlusion, curvature, normals, and so on. And these maps are interlinked with the previously mentioned smart materials, which generate procedural masks for the textures. It is also worth mentioning that Painter has a flawless exporting system, which works with many 3D software and game engines, since it is industry standard. It also can pack three textures into one to be able to reduce the mass in your node tree. And most importantly, the textured models always look identical to the one you work on whenever you export it. Next up, we have Mari, a powerful 3D digital painting tool developed by Weta Digital in the late 2000s. It is widely used in the film and video game industries for creating high quality textures for 3D models. With its advanced painting capabilities, Mari can provide you with a highly intuitive and flexible workflow for texturing your models. Initially, Mari was developed by Weta Digital for the productions of King Kong and Avatar. Then, several years later, the software was acquired by the Foundry, and it rapidly became popular in some of the largest VFX production studios such as Digital Domain, Framestore, Double Negative, and so on. One of the key features of Mari is its ability to handle large, complex 3D models with ease. And it can be great, especially with high-res materials, because it can handle up to 32K resolutions. In addition, it can easily handle multi-layer textures. It also has an extensive library of presets and materials, making it easy to get started with, especially if you're working on new VFX projects. This, in addition to its advanced painting tools, Mari also has a robust baking system like Substance Painter, and it can generate normals, ambient occlusion, and curvature maps, which helps you to speed up the workflow and achieve a high level of detail using procedural texturing methods. Furthermore, Mari provides an intuitive and user-friendly interface for painting high-quality textures directly onto 3D models, and this can be really important when working on big projects when we have big monsters such as Godzilla or King Kong, or maybe huge robots, or any other objects and monsters or whatever it is that needs close-up shots. Also, since Mari is industry standard, it supports a wide range of file formats and it is capable of handling very large texture maps and models, making it a popular choice, especially for high-end VFX work. A good idea is to learn 3D in places such as Skillshare. 
You may know Skillshare for photography, video editing, and illustration classes, but it actually has many animation, game development, and VFX-focused classes. Have you been eager to learn about geometry nodes lately? If so, I highly recommend this class called Your First Geometry Nodes Project by Bad Normals, who is a popular YouTuber known for his incredible geometry nodes work. This class is made up of one hour and a half of video content divided into 12 lessons. And following this course, you will learn all the principles of geometry nodes in Blender 3 and beyond, allowing you to model things that can be hard to create, such as nature. The techniques and mindsets that you're gonna learn can also be applied to pretty much any node-based software, such as Houdini. Overall, the class doesn't cover a lot of theory and jumps straight to the good stuff. So the first 1000 people to click the link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Next up, we have Blender, a really, really powerful all-in-one 3D package that basically enables you to work on your projects from start to finish without the need for any other software. And of course, this includes texture painting. And the best part is, Blender is completely free. So, Blender's node-based texturing system is powerful, flexible, and intuitive. Also, it allows for the creation of complex texture blends and in addition to materials. So, Blender allows artists to create and modify textures using a network of nodes that represent different textures, masks, functions, color correction, and shading operations. And the generated textures can be easily adjusted and modified, providing you with a high level of control over the texturing process. So, if you are a Blender artist, you can do amazing stuff with just Blender. But there are some cool add-ons that make the process and the experience even better, and similar to Substance Painter, for example. Next up, we have a software called Armor Paint. Armor Paint is an open-source cross-platform 3D painting software that is designed to allow artists to paint textures directly onto 3D models, which is the norm nowadays and like the old days of using Photoshop. The software has developed with a focus on providing a simplified and user-friendly interface that makes it both easy and fun for 3D artists to paint and edit their textures freely, especially when knowing that there are many strong alternatives like Substance Painter, Mari, Blender, and so on. One of the most important features of Armor Paint is its real-time GPU-accelerated painting engine, which means it runs completely on the GPU. This results in a smooth 4K painting experience on a medium-powered integrated hardware and up to 16K texture painting experience, which is gonna be seamless using a high-end graphics card, of course. Me personally, I try to keep it at 4K. So this makes Armor Paint one of the most optimized and easiest packages to work with. The software also offers some features that sets it apart from the other 3D painting software, such as ray tracing baking and painting effects. This means that textures painted in Armor Paint are rendered to look realistic, making it possible to create photorealistic textures. It also has a path trace viewport that simulates your light, and an extensive library of plugins due to being an open source software. Now we're gonna talk about Quixel Mixer, which is a free texture painting software that allows you to create and utilize physically based rendering PBR materials that work perfectly in game engines such as Unreal Engine and Unity. Mixer is actually developed by Quixel, the company behind all these photo scan 3D models and materials that are always best presented as breathtaking and photorealistic. So, Mixer can be considered a high end 3D texturing software that provides you with a very powerful, efficient, and one of the cleanest and coolest looking user interfaces for a texturing software which is expected from a Quixel Suite program, because they are always a delight to use. Mixer is a solution for creating photorealistic textures, and it is designed to allow you to quickly and easily create high-quality textures that you can use for different projects, like architectural visualization. You can also use it for creating video game assets and environments, which is one of the most important things you can do with it. And you can even create assets for films and TV shows because combined with mega scans and Unreal Engine, you can create amazing stuff. So the biggest advantage of using Mixer is the fact that it procedurally allows you to create tileable textures and directly paint on 3D models 
using a large free library of materials. Next up we have ZBrush, a very powerful and a core software that you would come across everywhere because it is industry standard in sculpting. The software is known for its advanced, accurate and versatile sculpting capabilities but in actuality ZBrush also has some unique tools in addition to other features for texturing. And a prime example of this is Polypaint, which allows painting on a model surface without the need to assign a texture map. And unlike most texturing software, Polypaint allows you to create texture maps later in the process by transforming the painted surface into a map. So Polypaint offers some significant advantages compared to standard workflows. For example, adaptive texture resolution and it is UV free at least initially when painting the surface, which is great to get you up and running to visualize the end result fairly quickly. Still with sculpting software that offer the ability to texture paint, we have 3D Code, which offers a wide range of tools for creating and applying textures to any 3D model. The software provides artists with a powerful layer-based texturing system similar to Substance Painter and so on, which allows you to add and modify textures on a per layer basis. So this provides you with a great deal of flexibility and control over your textures, which is amazing. Actually, I was surprised with how good 3D Coat is, whether it be sculpting, texture painting or other stuff. So with this, it is possible to easily make changes and adjustments to your textures as much as you need. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative, if you did please give it a thumbs up, you can also subscribe to this channel to help us create more content and receive more of it in the future, thank you guys very much for watching again and I will see you in the next one.